one of the best ways to deal with trauma, with hardship, with pain, is to freely allow this traumatic experience, the pain, the emotion that comes from it to flow through us. Not to block it, not to stop it, but to fully experience it. As uh, Kirsten Neff, the the psychologist who writes about self-compassion, writes, the only way out is through. Now, what does that look like? Well, metaphorically and actually, by shedding tears. Tears allow the water to flow. There is a very beautiful metaphor here, to flow freely. But not just as a metaphor, we actually know that by crying, we release uh, oxytocin, the love hormone. By crying, we release um, opiates, naturally occurring drugs that calm us. That's why we feel so good or so much better after a cry, a good cry. Talking about it rather than holding it in, that's allowing the free flow of emotions. Writing about it, you'll uh, learn a lot about writing and journaling uh, in in a month or so, if you continue going at that at, at, at the weekly pace, um, because we allow the ideas to flow through us, the emotions to flow. We express rather than suppress, and this is the foundation of a healthy life. It's the foundation of post-traumatic growth. It's the foundation of dealing with growing from grief. And as I often say, the first step to happiness is allowing in unhappiness.